You've heard this before, but listening, really listening, is important. In general, actively listening to a friend or family member is something most of us could do better, since we're often so eager to talk that we are only halfway listening. We are all busy, on to the next task, and rushing makes us understandably thoughtless. Most of the time it doesn't make a huge difference, but there are times that it might. There are times when caregivers suffer from anxiety, depression, and sleeplessness, just like those they care for and about. It's sometimes simpler to isolate yourself or withdraw from normal activities than to put on the mask of, I'm okay, when you're not. Have you watched a friend do this and been concerned? Science and studies tell us that even the strongest people may be deeply distressed. But science also tells us that belonging, connection, and communication make a difference. Military families are experts at flexibility and adapting, all of which are positive skills. But they're also experts at pretending things are fine, because that's what they've learned to do. Make a plan to look out for one another. If you notice a friend or acquaintance is withdrawn, unusually worn looking, and acts with hopelessness, talk to them. Ask them to do the same for you. It's important that you also reach for help when you need it. People are generally glad to help. They're grateful you trust them and need them. Connection, listening, and caring all help someone to feel stronger. And trust yourself if you feel it right to suggest professional help. Supporting one another to call a helpline or visit a counselor is both smart and beneficial. There are wonderful resources available with people who care and who understand, including your caregiver peers. Keep the VA helpline, Vets for Warriors, Psych Armor, or other helpline available. Help is there when we need it.